welcome back. So something I hadn't mentioned in one of the previous videos is I work in two labs. And so as a result, I work in two different buildings. I figured I'd start off this episode by just kind of giving you a tour of one of the buildings I'm crossing the road right now. I should probably be looking out for cars, but anyways, where we're going now is what we lovingly call the vet tower because Cornell's biomedical sciences program is held in their vet school. So yes, we do have a lot of dogs in the building. Part of the reason I'm showing you all what this building looks like is because my Wi-Fi is out at home, so I had to come here in order to do work. So here we have the lab space for one of my labs. Check it out, it's pretty nice. We have a ton of space. And with all this space, we have a lot of benches that are designated for very specific things. So for instance, we have a bench where we specifically work with proteins. We have benches where we specifically only work with RNA. And we have benches where we only work specifically with DNA. <laughs> We have a ton of boxes. We have these cool instruments for RTQPCR, which allows us to look at the expression of a given gene in a sample that we're looking at. In this room, we have the cell culture room. Over here is the cell culture hood, which allows us to work with cells without getting them contaminated. And over here we have a centrifuge, specifically for spinning down cells. As a kid, I always thought using one of these was the epitome of being a scientist, and that scientists just sat around centrifuging things all day. Turns out there's a lot more to it than that. And lastly, we have the office area. Here we have a conference room where we hold small meetings. And you just gotta love this view. Look at that, that's Cornell's campus right there. And here we have our office area, which is completely separate from the lab. And we have a million plants in here. And a giant fist. So yeah, that's a brief tour of one of the places that I work. It's pretty nice, pretty awesome. I'm really lucky to get the opportunity to work here. So with that, I'm gonna go get some work done. So the other day I showed you all what my lab over in the vet tower looks like. And I figured while I was at it, I'd show you what my other lab looks like. My other lab is in a place off campus called the Baker Institute. So we're just gonna walk through these halls real quick. And just so you all can see, this is what my other lab looks like. I never really noticed this sign before, but I think this is actually pretty accurate. And of course, no lab is complete without its own centrifuge. And behind me, we have our chemical hood. Also notice, centrifuge. No wonder I thought that scientists just use centrifuges all day. It's a good thing to invest in. A lot of the experiments we do in this lab involve RNA and DNA. A lot of times when you think of scientists working with liquids and little tubes, yeah, that's what we do here. And here we are in the office area. You'll notice that we have this nice office cubicle thing going on in here. And here is my desk. And here in the back of the office, we have our lovely whiteboard. When I first got into this lab, one of the things that I did was push for getting this whiteboard. And uh, as you can see, we've made pretty good use out of it. We drew dinosaurs all over the board. Scientists just like to draw things. If you walk around Baker actually, and you look at all the whiteboards, you'll see a lot of pictures drawn onto them. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the brief tours of the labs that I work at. I'm incredibly fortunate for the position that I'm in right now. I work in two labs with absolutely phenomenal people, and I'm under the mentorship of two fantastic PIs. My bosses really want to push me to make sure that I succeed and that I can improve as a scientist, which I really appreciate it because to me that's a sign that they think that I can be a good scientist. So with all of that being said, I'm going to head out now. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And I encourage you, if you have any ideas for videos or things you want to see, make sure you leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And with that, I'm going to get out of here.